All right, so I want to talk about and just touch on briefly a special type of moment, which is a couple. All right, so imagine you are driving a steering wheel. All right, so you're, you're on the steering wheel, and let's say we push with a force down on the right side of your steering, steering wheel and up on the left side of your steering wheel with the same magnitude, okay? That's what a couple is. A couple is pushing kind of down on one side and up on the other side with the same magnitude, okay? So let's, let's say this case, we've got these dimensions right here. 200 Newton forces are acting, um, you know, one in, one perfectly down, one perfectly up. If we were to calculate the moment about A, we'd find it to be negative 60,000 Newton meters. If we were to calculate the moment about B, it would also be 60,000 Newton meters. If we were to calculate some weird moment, yeah, C, not even on our object, we would get the same moment. And that is the, the, the unique thing about couples, are if you apply a couple, which is two parallel forces, right, parallel, right, they're in the same direction, um, but equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, then the moment of that couple is the same on every point of the object. So it's almost like it's a free vector. It's like I'm just applying a negative 60,000 newton meter moment not to point A or to point B or to point C. I'm just applying it to the object, right? That couple gives the object, no matter what point, a moment of negative 60,000 Newton millimeters, all right? And so it's, it's a free vector. It's just applied not at a single point, but applied to the whole object. So um, kind of a shortcut to finding the magnitude of the moment is if we just take one of those forces times a perpendicular distance between the two forces, all right, then we'd get the magnitude of the moment. Uh, the direction, the direction is, it's in the, you know, k direction if we're in the xy plane, uh, so clockwise or counterclockwise, but technically, it's perpendicular to the plane that the two forces are in. The direction is perpendicular to the plane that the two forces are in, okay? So if we recognize a couple, then we can say, oh, it's asking me to calculate the moment about A, but I can calculate the moment about B. I can calculate the moment about any point. It is one of those forces times the distance between the two. One of those forces times a perpendicular distance between the two forces. And the direction, you can visualize it. This one's easy to visualize. That This would be a clockwise moment. Um, and that it, that's in the K direction if we're in the, or in that case, a negative K direction. Um, if we're on the XY plane, it's in the Z direction. Okay, so uh, this one right here, we want to find the uh, moment of the three couples. You know, it kind of looks like we, and I kind of drew on top of this, they won't be color coded for you, but it kind of looks like I've got six forces. This might take a little bit to find the moment, but if I recognize that, oh, it's not really six forces, it's really three couples, then I can just take one force times its distance perpendicular distance, one of those forces times its perpendicular di distance, one of those forces by its perpendicular distance, and then add them all up to get the moment right there. Okay, this one, uh, it's 3D, but let's don't fret about it too much. Uh, do you recognize that it is a couple? 25 up, 25 down, yeah. All right, so we just take one of those forces and... Um, the distance between the two would be 6 cosine 30 right there. So then we've got a moment of negative 129.9. Now, let's forget about the negative and forget about the J. Where did that negative and the J come from? All right. All the forces are in the XZ plane. Do you see that, right? Those forces are in the XZ plane. The moment would be perpendicular. What's perpendicular to XZ? Well, why? You know, the, the third direction, all right? And then in order to figure out positive y or negative y, we use our right hand rule, take your right hand, and curl your fingers in the direction that this rotation, this rotation would kind of be a 
this type of rotation. So if you take your right hand and curl your four fingers in that rotation, whether you kind of look at this bottom arrow or the top arrow, both of those, your thumb is not going to be pointed in the positive Y. Your thumb is going to be pointed back here in the negative Y direction. So that's why this is in the negative Y direction. See that? Take your right hand, curl your fingers in the direction of the rotation. Your thumb is the direction of the moment. Okay. Now let's look at this one. This one's the toughest one, maybe. All right. So do we recognize that this is a couple? Whoops, whoops, whoops sorry. Here we go. That is a couple, right? That is a couple right there. All right. So we take one of those forces times the perpendicular distance between the two. But what direction is it in? If, this, if the forces are in a 3, 4, 5, this is perpendicular just to it. This would be in a 3, 4, 5 in the J and K direction. All right. Whereas this couple, 150 times perpendicular distance between the two, 0.4. You see that this would be in the X direction, positive X, using the right-hand rule, twisting my fingers in the, in the uh, rotation right here. Right hand, my thumb is pointed in the X direction. So this one is in the I. But this one's a little bit tougher. It's in both the Y and the Z. It's in both the Y and the Z right here at a 3, 4, 5. So that was a tough one, that 3D uh, moment right there. All right. But rec noticing couples means you can shorten this and just say, okay, force times force of one of them times distance between the two. Force of one of them times distance between the two. How about this one right here? The ends are subjected to three couples. Determine the dimension D so that the resultant couple is 350, right? So don't, don't worry if I tell you the total moment is equal to 350 and you need to find for this unknown distance D. But noticing that it's couples it means I can just take, look at this couple, take one of those forces times the distance between the two. Look at this couple take one of those forces times distance between the two. Look at this couple, take one of those forces times distance between the two. And, you know, if you write them up, it's really the same thing as writing them kind of over equals 350. Factor out that distance D. Solve for, if you only have one unknown, you can solve one unknown from one equation to get that distance D right there, 1.5. So couples are... Two forces that are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction, and they create a moment that's a free vector that doesn't matter where it's being applied. It's just kind of applied to the whole plate, to the whole object uh, that is equal to one of those forces times perpendicular distance between the two, and the direction is perpendicular using the right-hand rule, curling your fingers per perpendicular to the plane that those forces are on.